Okay, so what's up, y'all? Backwood Boy here doing another Backwood Boy's Garage here doing another video. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, it's another redo video, I'm talking about boots, so stay tuned. Been forgotten, not Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Did I been forgotten, not Joe? I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Okay, so I guess I'll start with these here first. I just show these in my other one. Um, these are the only non-Western pair of boots I have. And um, now I'm not gonna put these on and have look wearing them because these are hard to tie up. That's why I don't want really to wear lace up boots because they're just a pain in the ass to tie up. So, um, now these ones are a little sentimental, I guess, because these were my uncle's. He, he These were hunting boots, these were his. And uh, he's no longer living, so they're like I said, they're sentimental. And um, yeah, these are insulated too. These are made for like really cold weather. You know, here in, in Alabama, it gets pretty hot in the summertime. So another reason why I don't wear these very much because these would be really hot because they're insulated. Okay, so I'm gonna try them on. Show you. Let's move on to the next pair. Okay, so next pair is gonna be these here. I also use these do grass mowing in because you see these got grass home for I was weed eating the other day. And um I've had these I think I got these when I was in tenth grade in my tenth grade year. And uh yeah, these got grass all in them and see I've kinda worn through the end zone. <laughs> but um I had some John Deere boots that had a camouflage shaft on them like this. And uh I don't know what happened. I think I got rid of them because they were uh, uh, probably got too small, I imagine. Because I think I had them in my ones I had in eighth grade. So, so I'll show you what they look like on. Okay, so here what they look like while wow. wearing them. This is how I usually wear these when I'm, just when I'm on grass. That's why the shaft is just covered in grass. And um, as you can see, they don't look too bad. Now, these look a little blocky the way they're made. But, um, yeah, I wore these for pretty long while they're pretty comfortable and um they don't, don't look too bad they're not as western as some other boots i got over here so i'll show you in a minute but overall not too bad so let's move on okay so next up i will probably show you these here my area patriot boots and uh now these are my everyday wearing pair i wear these a lot as you can see, the strap's all really saggy, and uh, this one's got a bad place on it where uh, oil and stuff got on it, so um, it's unfortunate. And as you can see, I've worn down the rubber on these because I, re I wear these so much. And my heel, I was up a scuff, and it's kind of it's worn them down. <laughs> but um, and I also worn through these insoles too, if you can see that in there. But um. Yeah, not too, too bad off. I'll show you what they look like while I'm wearing them. Okay, so here I what it looks like while I'm wearing them. And as you can see, don't look terribly bad. Um, you can see, I wear these with my pants down in them too 
the lot because you know she acts real cool. Um, as you can see, it looks really awesome. Which is probably the way my pants down is. It's probably why the shafts are saggy and more saggier than the rest of them. Because <laughs> you know it's pushing it down and, and, and it see it pushes it down and man, it makes it look saggier than the rest. But um, you see that these have uh, been pretty good boots the three years I've had them and uh, they're real they're nice and comfortable. And uh, I got some a brand new pair of boots. I'll show you here in a minute, but um. I'll, uh, um, I'll, I'm not getting a phone call, I'll give, I'll give me a minute, but, uh, so I'll show you my, uh, next pair here in a second, so, wait till I'm getting a phone call, so give me a minute. Okay, so next pair will be these, I'll do the black ones here next. Um, now these were just given to me by a good friend of mine, I forgot who she said these were before she gave them to me. But, um, yeah, these are pretty nice. Now, I don't wear these a whole lot because, you know, I don't really wear black boots very much. I had some black ones when I was little, but I have no idea where they were at. But, um, I ain't worn these in a little bit because I got to get the sole fix right there. So, I have a blowout right there. But, um, I'll put them on to show y'all how they look. Yeah. Uh, now, it's, it depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll put my pants down on these. Sometimes I'll wear it over them. It, it depends. If I'm going to, like, something fancy like a wedding or if y'all... Make it look nice and put it over my shaft. But if I'm just going around town, it'll probably go down in my shaft. So, so I'll show you what these look like on. Okay, so as you can see, kind of both ways. This is you know really you know fancy for going out, and this is just you know more, more just prancing around, you know. And uh, like I said, I don't wear these as much because I'm not a big black boot kind of fan. But these are given to me by a really good friend of mine, and you know so these. I mean a lot to me, I guess. But, um, I didn't have to pay for these either. They're free, so it's a, they're a good reason I like, to like them. But, um, you can see, you know, this is still the same kind of basic Western look. But, um, if I wear these, especially with my black leather jacket, they can look like I'm, you know, a biker and stuff. And, um, like I said, I'm not a biker. I don't ride motorcycles. And, um, I just think brown boots look a little bit better. So, um, so I'll show you the next pair. Okay, so here are my Tony Lamas. Now these were my uh, my daddy's. Um, he uh, can't really wear uh, hard sole with heels on them like this anymore because he's got a uh, bad back and stuff and hurt his back. He has to wear like the rubber sole ones, like the ones that start together, like the flat ones, and so that's the ones he wears because a little bit easier on his back and stuff. But um, now these I think these were made. In, 80s or 90s, I think, but still look pretty good. They're, these ones got leather soles on them. Now, um, I gotta get the heels fixed because see, this one's got a, one of these got a hole in it right there. And um, but um, and like I said, I'm more of a uh, like I said, brown boot kind of person. But uh, now it's okay when you when you mix colors. If you put a black shaft with a brown boot, I like that okay. But I don't like a brown shaft with a black boot. It don't look as good with like vice versa. So. I like this blade a little bit better, but I'd rather have like a brown shaft though, but, but I mean, this works. But, um, yeah, I had to put a new insole in here because the other one was wore out and it was coming apart. So I had to put a new one in. But, um, yeah, so I'll show you what that looked like on, so stay tuned. Okay, so you can see here, though, like when I'm wearing them, like I said, kind of, you know, fancy and, uh, just, you know, for my like, like weddings or, you know, funerals and stuff. And, uh, just, you know, normal going out around. Because I'm the kind of person I like to show the shaft off. My camera's crooked. <clears throat> there we go. That's a little fresh. <laughs> but, um, you can see, I mean, I don't know what y'all's preference is. I know what mine did. This made him kind of fuss about this a lot. <laughs> because he, he likes it this way better than I. Like it this way, especially with my flag boots over there, the Patriot ones. To me, them just got a really cool shaft. That's why I like to wear them, wear them like this. So as you can see, you know, look pretty nice. And um, these are uh, 
bow hide there's a texture which I forgot to mention earlier and uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the next pair okay so I just got these uh, uh, the other day same as I got the other boots the work ones that I couldn't show you today because they're all younger but um now these have like a heel on them too they look like uh, leather sole, but these are actually rubber sole, so I can wear these out in the rain. I don't wear leather sole boots out in the rain because you, know, you slip and fall, and which you know, ain't never good. I came close to them at one time, so whenever it's really rainy weather, I usually wear rubber sole. So and I'm saving up my money to get a pair of snakeskin boots because snakeskin boots have always been my dream boot, but the only problem is they are very, very expensive. Some of them are like if you get uh, damn post brand snake skin boots are like $500 they're really expensive but um I'm trying to find some that are good you know and it ain't cheap like you know made cheaply where they come apart so that's what I'm having a problem with right now but I'll find some more and when I do I'll make a, a video on them I think I'll do a separate review on these two so I just got these and they're brand new the box is laying over yonder but um so I'll show you what it looks like when I wear them okay it looks like when I'm wearing them but sometimes I think I'll wear these kind of like this too if I'm having to do something fancy or it needs to be just, you know, just normal day, I guess. And um, sometimes I have going around like this with one pant leg down and one pant leg in. I've walked like this before. <laughs> I mean, here in Alabama, you see a lot of people do it this way and down in, and it, it varies. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, these are brand new. I, I do it a little bit more like this because, you know, I gotta try to break them in and they uh, make flexes on your uh, calves when they're brand new because the shaft ain't saggy like uh, when they're broke in. But you see, they look really nice. And these are rubber sole too, like I said. So if I do ever have to go some kind of fancy wedding or funeral or something and it's raining, I'll have rubber sole to, to wear the look fancy so I won't slip and fall and and when you have a leather sole you gotta scuff it up a little bit so uh you know, get traction because uh, you don't do it with rubber though because if you do it with rubber you just wear it down but um yeah so i mean pretty nice i mean i don't think i'll promote grass in these because these are nice looking boots i have mowed grass in my flying boots before but only when uh, i didn't have my other boots out here with me but um So, pretty nice looking, so. Okay, so I hope you know, like this video and want more like it. Just let me know and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the uh, Backwood Boy uh, Garage. And I'll see you on next video.